Chinese products. Well, March 29th may be a ways off, but U.S. officials aren't waiting for the Brexit deadline to prepare to start planning for a trade deal with an EU-free Britain. And U.S. ag is weighing in. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock has more. As the U.K. struggles through a separation from the EU in the coming weeks, U.S. producers are hopeful about what the break could mean for ag sales. We would be looking at probably a few million in um, the few the, the years, um, the first few years of the, the trade agreement. But also, I think it would ultimately set the stage for uh, a negotiated trade agreement with the EU. But their optimism comes with conditions. The EU remains a relatively small market for U.S. ag exports due to a litany of tariff and non-tariff barriers. So experts say the U.K. should abandon those practices if they hope to reach a free trade agreement with the U.S. Uh, this agreement is not going to be able to be a strong success between the U.S. and the U.K. if the U.K. is required to simply implement whatever regulations or policy dictates come out of Brussels moving forward. With more than 66 million residents, the U.K. is the sixth largest economy in the world, but grows less than 60 percent of its own food, making it a valuable market not only for U.S. meat and dairy, but for grains and ethanol as well. The U.S. Grains Council included pushing for greater biotech acceptance in the U.K. as a priority for negotiators. Though experts don't expect to see a free trade agreement finalized in 2019, that doesn't mean the market will be unaffected. There's such uncertainty around Brexit and still the possibility of the United Kingdom having a hard Brexit and so leaving without a deal. If that happens, then yes, that's likely to shake up dairy markets. While the attentions of top trade negotiators are drawn towards other priorities like Japan and China, preparations continue for a possible free trade agreement that includes ag on this side of the Atlantic. Meanwhile, our neighbors across the pond prepare for what is likely to be a tumultuous 2019. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Thank you, Sarah. Now, while the U.S. prepares for talks with Britain, the EU struggles with African swine fever. Denmark is even planning to build a border fence to keep the wild hogs out of the country. The disease.